We start every logo animation with a concept and design. For the MGM logo, Mystery Guitar Man knew that he wanted to spoof the MGM Studio logo sequence played before the movies. He also already had a Flash version made, and he wanted to try a 3D version. So he knew that he wanted his head and place the lion's head of the MGM Studio logo. At this point, we usually draw a design for what the head would look like. However, we really liked MGM's original illustrated design, and MGM agreed. So we modeled the 3D head based on that design. The only change was that we updated MGM's hat to the beanies he now wears in his videos. We chose the beanies colors based on the one he wore in his latest hit video, A Word from the Creators, which was featured on the front page of YouTube. We've done our work in several different types of software, and the way we decide is simple. Who's going to do the work? In the end, it fell in the capable hands of our intern, Dominic McGow. He previously made a caterpillar love story. You can find his work over on his channel. We put a link in the description on the right. So he was familiar with the free 3D animation software Animator. That's right, clever spelling, huh? Well, if you're looking for 3D software to learn, don't use this stuff. The best image I found of people who use it is this one. Not bad, but definitely not half as good as what people are doing with Blender. Plus, there are quite a few bad examples of work in Animator. So if you're looking for free 3D software, head over to blender.org. Anyway, back to the production process. Here you can see that these images show you the process of slowly crafting the 3D model to look like the illustration. So the modeling process started with this model based on the illustration. It was a good first run, but it's way too blocky. This was much better, but there's no form to the ears and the hat's too high. There we go. What's wrong with this one? Nothing at first, but then we noticed that his glasses were too shallow. They weren't tall enough. Plus, we realized that we needed to make an improvement over the illustration and make the head thinner. Because, let's face it, MGM is not a fatty. It's true. It's true. You can ask him. So what did the letters on his beanie say? MGM. Booyah! Next, we created the background while animating the head. For the background, we wanted to take it back to the look and feel of the original MGM Studio logo. So we created the name on top, Mystery Guitar Man, to match the exact same lettering used in the original logo. We created that level of detail throughout the logo background. For a subtle joke, we replaced Trademark on the sides of the logo with a similar font saying Trade Joe, because Mystery Guitar Man's name is Joe. We also created Mr. Guitar Man's website, www.mgmonthenet.com, to replace the studio site, www.mgm.com. This was also done with a matching font. Instead of the mask below the original line, we recolored the Mr. Guitar Man original illustration to match the golden look of the logo. We scaled the illustration down to take the place of the original mask. And finally, our favorite joke, MGM also appreciated this one, we replaced the Latin text along the banner border around the lion with the text, You suck, go die. This was in honor of another hit MGM video where he and many other successful YouTube video loggers made fun of the silly negative comments that they receive constantly. We've gotten a few of these ourselves. The link to MGM's videos are in the description on the right. Next came the animation. We really liked the sharp teeth used in the flash animation to emulate the lion's sharp teeth. We animated the head to make the motion similar to the lion in the original logo. This means we included the two roars that were in the original video. We ended the character looking more to the right because that's how the lion ends in the original video. In this earlier animation pass that we're showing now, the animation was a little more floaty the transition between the different mouths wasn't as smooth, and we didn't like the position he was in at the end. I have to admit, the animation in the final video isn't super amazing, oh my gosh, that blew me away, but it definitely gets the job done and made the client happy. However, 
I think we really knocked the background, the lighting, and the character model out of the park on this one. Here's the video again. Have a day. I'm the Mystery Guitar Man, and I approve this message, even though I haven't seen it yet. MGM. Booyah!